Hello, uh, my name's Robin Kelly. Oh, that wasn't a good start, was that? Kick the, uh, kick the camera. Um, and I'm a medical doctor and have been so for 40 years. Um, and uh, my medical career has followed an interesting course in that I spent uh, six years in hospital when went into general practice here in New Zealand and uh, became very intrigued by other types of uh, medicine, other world views, um, including Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine, and more recently what we call mind-body medicine, um, and understanding the role of emotions uh, in health, um, and understanding the role of spirituality, uh, whatever that means for anybody, uh, and meaning in, in their lives. So. Uh, my, my life, uh, my practicing life has developed that, that way, uh, as well as my philosophies, I think. And I, I've um, uh, tried my best to help people through difficult times. Uh, and, and because of that, I've spent uh, a lot of my practicing life now at home with my gorgeous wife, Trish, uh, helping um, people, uh, listening to people, uh, allowing stories to unfold and solutions to uh, uh, unravel, basically, their lives to unravel. Uh, I'm particularly interested in the role of a relationships in health um, and hence this is perhaps uh, one of the most difficult things I've ever done uh, is to start a series on how something has affected me and my family so much. Um, and, I mean, in short, for five years, we have been in a sort of prison. Um, uh, we have been um, incarcerated, if you like, uh, by um, forces uh, in our society, uh, and particularly coming from one individual, but something that I, I, I will say spreads to so many others. We were incarcerated with this, and, and that has completely um, knocked me, um, changed <clears throat> the way I've had to practice for financial reasons, um, and threatened m my usual jolly, happy-go-lucky demeanor. Um, I've written some books, and in my first book I dared to say that everybody is a healer, um, and uh, even I've had vision, visions of Hitler uh, on the deck of his holiday home, um, patting his dog and the dog wagging its tail, and I'm saying there's potential there for everybody. Um, I have to say that 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 uh, world view, that rosy world view, has been somewhat um, tested uh, in the last five years. We are now in a situation of freeing ourselves um, from the clutches of. of um, what I will call psychopathy, and I'll explain that because I think it's a term that could be overused and sometimes underused as well. Um, and we and our family and me uh, in particular, it's terribly important that I don't carry the scars of this, the bitterness, the anger uh, that I still feel um, into uh, other people's lives. Um, and this is the reason uh, I'm titling this the series uh, Goodbye Psychopaths because I, I see this as a virus that has um, becoming we're becoming aware of. It's a virus uh, that um, is as deadly as any other virus um, and it seems to have spread into many areas of <clears throat> our lives. Um, particularly uh, authoritarian lives. Um, and I believe a, a lot of people are, 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 let's say, cognitively dissident of this. In other words, they are blissfully unaware through their conditioning uh, of this process that is around them. Others are willfully blind um, that they do realize that something is wrong, but somehow their lives and uh, let's say their salaries and their futures um, depend on playing this game. I've been very reluctant in my life to use the word evil um, and if I do use that word I, I see it as the opposite of live basically if you spell live backwards you, you have evil 
Um, our life here is, I believe, um, supposed to be joyful. We're supposed to be light-hearted. We're supposed to be working in communities, uh, uh, maybe of a hundred or so uh, people. We're supposed to eat, eat locally. Um, we are supposed to be challenged, uh, and we are. That is, we do need a certain amount of stress. Um, we need to run and sprint sometimes. Uh, we need to watch out as we cross the road. What's happened in life it, it, is that that stress, that time pressure has overtaken so many people and their bodies are locked into fight or flight um, rather than most of the time being in a lovely relaxed um, happy mode um, and, and most of my work in fact is allowing people to slip back into this more, more natural state of being. So this series of blogs is really um, uh, chronicling the way I have coped with an awful time in my life and the time of life of my family. Um, and even now I am being gagged <coughs> um, and I believe uh, I have to work out a way around that by talking about how this has affected me rather than um, uh, pointing a finger at any particular person. I have become aware in this time of so many other people visiting me who are going through similar issues, particularly uh, with family, friends uh, and workplace issues as well. Uh, our story is a, a particularly uh, unsettling one. It, it's rather like walking out of a, a concentration camp at the end of the war and one of the guards yelling out of the window, well, um, please don't tell anybody about this, will you? Um, I believe that's part of the what I call the effect of the virus. I think if we do not talk about this, um, and this aspect of humanity, which is so um, controlling and something we are becoming more aware of, if we don't talk about it, uh, it is dangerous not for us, just for us. It is dangerous for us. Anything that goes within us uh, festers. Uh, but it is also dangerous for other people. So I, I believe I've been given a responsibility, some sort of responsibility. There's some sort of meaning behind this craziness that we've been through and ways that I can help you. So thank you. This is the, this is the start of uh, a series where I hope to, in each, I hope to impart in each video um, some thing that I have learned both through the experience and through some study and through talking to people to get people not only through this uh, attack that is fairly constant uh, for many people but actually to come out the other side not damaged with as few scars as possible and being able to live their lives uh, as normally and fruitfully and happily as they can. So I'm really honoured to have you with me. Please um, subscribe down here um, to uh, Goodbye Psychopaths. Uh, that's the provisional title anyway. I might change it as we go on. Uh, also maybe have a look at my other um, YouTube offerings. Um, one of the ways I've got through this is by singing and, so, and singing in the bathroom because of uh, uh, that is where the um, uh, acoustics are the best and um, uh, I feel quite free for some reason. <laughs> okay. So all that, please, please uh, follow, uh, subscribe, but most of all, add your comments, mostly nice comments, but you can tell me, even bad comments are fine, don't troll me, um, don't particularly ru rubbish me um, uh, unduly, because uh, I'm doing my best, um, and uh, God bless you all, and I welcome to have this, welcome to have this uh, conversation that I hope will um, help everybody, including me. All the best. Bye for now. Cheerio.